watching the podcast if you are on spotify she who believes and i am your host vivian bell and i am in the she who believes so before i get started I promised my producer from the Radio NDMG show the reminder that I get the privilege of co-hosting with JoJo that I would tell you guys that you can now hear Radio NDMG live um, on our radio on our digital radio station in the UK. Why am I announcing that? Because I have a UK listeners here at the podcast and on my blog. I have those from the UK and actually from the Ukraine and from Russia and India and Germany and so many other places that read the blog, that listen to the podcast. And you've heard me talk about the radio show, The Reminder. Now you can listen if you're in the UK. You go to RadioIndieMG.com and log in. Go ahead and take a listen to the radio show, and also you'll hear your girl doing some intros to other radio shows and to different segments throughout the week. Um, you'll hear me uh, just giving a devotional. Um, so take a listen, and then let me know what you think. You can email me at Vivian at VivianBell.com. That's my first name, at my first and last name.com. I would love to hear your feedback. Well, today we are talking about, actually all this month, we are discussing the mindset of you. I'm discussing this on socials, I'm discussing this on YouTube, on this podcast, on in the blog, and then now also on the Wisdom app. Every Thursday at 1 p.m., you can log in and you can join the live talk. I am literally live there in the Wisdom app. There's a button you can push to join the talk there's also um, an option for you to record a question to me and I will return the answer in a voice uh, message back to you through the platform and you may just have your question and the answer pinned to my page in wisdom so that others between now and the next time I upload another question can hear what your question was and get the answer that I gave to you so um, those are options to listen in but all this month, the month of August, one of my favorite months of the year, um, we're going to be talking about the mindset of you. And so today we're going to talk about um, patterns and cycles and the systems that break those patterns and cycles. So many of us know what pattern, patterns and cycles are. We often have patterns and cycles that we know are bad for us, right? For some of us, it's comfort eating. I love candy. I love sweet things, right? And so um, often... Uh-huh. I have uh, allowed those things to comfort me, even though I know that a high sugar intake may not be good for me, right? Just like you may know that it's not good for you to blow up relationships, um, or you might know that it's not good for you to keep going back to your ex or doing different things that are just not good for you. Maybe you're skateboarding off the top of a house. I don't know. Uh-huh. But we all have that thing that it's like, hey, no matter how hard I try, no matter how often it might seem like I can stay consist- consistent, I seem to falter, right? I particularly know an individual who at heart is like an amazing person, right? I'm talking like an amazing person, but will at every turn blow their lives up. And... um it's easy sometimes for us to judge other people, right? To judge what their weaknesses are, their situations. We judge them. Um, but we don't know their cycle, know what the, why they have those cycles and why they are stuck in those, those patterns. For this particular person, on their mother and father's side, there is not one male that has, that I know personally, that's been faithful to their spouse. Now, they may have times that they've been faithful to their spouse and some years but if you've been married 50 years and you only have 10 uh, years or a a culmination of 10 years over 50 that you are completely faithful to your spouse that's an issue you're not leaving an example then not only did this person see these infidelities but they were told that they would be just like their father they were told that you won't get married until after you're 50. They were told all of these things that you would think that, hey, but you know better, right? But don't we all know something and we don't do it? We've all known better and not done better, right? But today, we're going to talk about some things that will help us do better and to break these cycles. One of the things I've um, learned is that 
um, there are systems that have been built up against us. And you guys know, listen to this podcast, that I love Jesus, I believe in him. And I also believe that we have an enemy of our soul who often speaks to us in the first person and convinces us of things like, again, that we're not good enough, that we're not good enough to love someone or that um, brings fear to us that makes us leave um, good relationships, whether they're friendships, um, whether they're uh, relationships where you're, you know, an intimate relationship, a marriage, whatever it is, it could be uh, a good relationship with our neighbors. And that could be the longest relationship that we've done really well in. And then we'll go do something and blow it up, like break the uh, neighbor's sprinkler system or just something. I know that sounds really crazy, but there are things that we know that we should not do, but we keep doing, right? So one of the things that we can do is we can create new systems. This is something I do with my clients. I help them unpack in our coaching sessions why they're stagnant, why they know all the things that need to be known because they've taken all the master's courses and they have all the journals with all the notes, right? But yet they can't seem to step into living in their purpose on purpose. So we unpack those things. We get to the bottom of why they're stagnant in certain areas. We expose certain things those things aren't always easy but then we we create systems that will sustain their new growth so for me um a system of being consistent in the morning so getting up in the morning when I wake up saying to uh, my AI hey play a song by William Murphy or play this song so now I'm creating an atmosphere of worship while I'm waking up and going to the restroom and brushing my teeth and then I'm going to meet God in that particular place which I have not quite been as consistent with that as I like I may get up but I don't always go to our place so I'm going to admit that so that you know that we often do fall off but it's great because we can still just jump right back in it right but when I'm consistent, so I can say like I'm not always consistent, but I find more strength, more courage. Um, my mindset in reference to the positive and what's true is stronger when I am consistent in every area of my life. I'm not perfect, but to be consistent, to build a system. So my system is having some things in order in the mornings, right? So I wake up. Um, and I, my first thing is let's get some time in with God. I've got some worship music playing. I'm getting my face freshened up or at least my eyes uncrested, right? And I'm meeting with God and I, I'm saying, Lord, what do you want me to set my mind on today? Speak for your servant is listening. And I spend that time with God, right? When I'm done talking to God or listening or both, um, cause that's a prayer it's communication. And sometimes we have to shut up and listen, right? Yes, I said shut up because sometimes God is like, Vivian, listen. Vivian, and other times he's like, girl, hush. Uh -huh. Be quiet so I can bless you, so I can tell you what you need to do, right? Um, so um, so once I've done that, then I have a different Bible studies that I, I will partake in, um, reading scripture, meditation. And I, when I say meditation, I'm not sitting and going like, oh, uh, to the universe. No, I'm meditating on the word of God and his truth and what he's spoken to me or what's in the written word that I've studied for that day. So then once I do that, I move into um, exercise. And then once I've done my exercise, I prepare for my business meeting every morning. I have a morning meeting with um, my beautiful daughter who is also running a business. And so we meet every morning and we pray together. We pray over our businesses. We pray over those of you who are watching, not watching this podcast and listening to this podcast, who's reading the blog, who's following us on our socials. We literally take time to pray for you every morning. And then we invite God into our meeting and we ask him what he wants to do in our business for the day. And you're thinking that sounds like a lot, right? Oh, okay, but that doesn't, that's not really a big deal, but it is because consistency is power. One of the things I want to share with you, it's one really big key. It's the key that either, and this key can actually create either failure, failure or success in our lives. And it is our belief. What do we believe? What have we come into agreement with? So for this individual I shared with you, he at times agrees with what God has said about his life and he walks in the way that God wants him to. And then there are other times where that belief 
fails him. He starts again to believe the lies of the enemy that you're not good enough, you're not a good man of God, or whatever it is that the enemy spoke into him, right? And it's sometimes you can be more comfortable actually in a situation and that comfort holds us there. We, we start to believe in that thing that comfort holds us, that our belief has become that we don't believe that there's anything better for us, right? Or that we can't do better. So belief can, again, as I stated, create failure or it can create success. I can choose to believe that I am wonderful, that I am powerful, that I am God's daughter, that there is no weapon that is formed against me that will prosper. I can choose to believe that past what I feel, past the oppression, past every single attack that comes against me. And some of my strategies are, in the morning, I have declarations. So in my office, I have a wall of scriptures, declarations, the Lord's Prayer, the Prayer of Jabez. I have all of these things that I declare over my life every single morning. Because those types of, consist- um, of systems that I've set up, they help point my heart towards God, lets me, puts me in a place of worship, And then it allows me to be able to receive what God has and wants for me in that day, right? And so that's a system. And when I'm consistent in that system, the previous system that had been set up against me, the one where the enemy starts talking to me as soon as I wake up in the morning. And the enemy isn't some guy with a pitchfork, right? It's that that part of me that had been broken, that part of me that had believed all the lies. They would come to my mind immediately. Every morning that I woke up with my saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost self, they showed up. So I decided when I get up, I'm going to look up, point my heart up, and build a system that will destroy the system that would attack my mind every single day. Belief is how we do that. I believe I'm worth more than I set up boundaries. There are things I won't let you do or say to me or how and I won't let you treat me a certain way. All because I believe I'm worthy of better treatment. I'm worthy of being loved. I'm worthy of loyalty. I'm worthy of being adored and uh, just loved, right? So there are things I won't let you do because I've decided that I want more. Today, I want to encourage you to decide that not only should you want more, but that you deserve more in your life, more peace, more joy, um, more finances, um, less cell phone going off while I'm recording the podcast, but I'm actually not going to cut that out. You guys have been listening to me long enough to know that this girl does not edit her podcast, not because she can't, because again, I've produced a radio show back when radio shows were not podcasts and um, that kind of thing. So I can do all of that, but at the end of the day, this is just who I am. So anyways, um, where was I? Oh, <laughs> Um, you, you can have, you have to believe that there's more for you. Um, as I was praying for the individual I was telling you about one day, I was just like, my heart was heavy for them because I literally know this person very well. And I know this person honestly better than most people. And so my heart was heavy and God said to me, perfect love casts out all fear. And at first I was like, oh, wow. And the Lord said to me, the that fear is always present, like fear is there. That person has even admitted like they had lived a large percentage of their lives in fear. Fear of failing, fear of not being enough. And the Lord says that perfect love casts out all fear. But the love becomes perfect when you believe in it. When we believe in the love of God and that we can't be separated from his love, that he loves us, that he will never leave us nor forsake us, then we live our lives differently. We live our lives knowing that even though I may sin, God has forgiven me. That as a child of God, I I have his grace and his mercy that covers me. So it says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, then the Lord will raise up a standard against him. That means that his grace is sufficient for me. But I can believe that when I know that I am loved and I believe in God's love for me, then I can fight him. I can fight with my worship. I can fight with strategies that allow me to listen to a seven-minute recording while I take a shower in the morning of my very own voice, declaring things over my life based on the Word of God. And while I'm taking a shower, I said, yes, amen. Girl, yes, amen. That is truth. 
preach. I coach myself, right? And you're probably thinking, this lady sounds nuts. Well, guess what? Noah looked nuts building that big old boat and that he had saw no rain. But he believed God. I believe God. I believe that I am she who believes. I believe that I'm his daughter. I believe that I'm loved and adored by God. And so are you. So I want to encourage you today to establish some systems. If you think you need some help with that, well, call a sister. Reach out to a girl. Um, I, I said call, but I should say email. Go on my website, VivianBell.com, and sign up for a coaching package. Sign up for an online course. But get a system in place Excuse me, that will help you to sustain this new found belief that you are loved by God. Because what we have to understand is that the enemy of our soul is not going to just let us walk away from the system he set up and that he's used against us for years and be like, okay, cool, she figured it out, I'm exposed, I'm going to just let her go. No, you're, it's going to be a fight, it's going to be a mental fight, emotional fight, a spiritual fight, but it's going to be a fight that's worth it because it will lead you right into the abundant life that God has planned for you. Well, that's all I have for you guys for this week. Know that if you are listening or now watching this podcast, that I have prayed for you and that I will continue to pray for you. And should you need some advice, should you need um, any mental health support, then reach out to us. You can um, reach us again at Vivian at VivianBell.com um, or you can uh, click on this podcast and leave a voice recording or uh, I think that's about the only way you can get to us. Or if you go to um, VivianBell.com and um, subscribe, you'll get information from us. You'll get the blog once a week. You're going to start getting information about events and collaborations and contests because I have some excellent contests coming up really soon. Um, I do believe I mentioned to you guys that I have actually um, uh, created a line of journals called the SIW4 Journals. That stands for So I Won't Forget. And so what I'm determined to do is to leave a legacy of faith in the earth. And so I do that by writing in my journal so that my future generations that come after me, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, I will know of the goodness of God, right? So I'm going to have you give, doing some giveaways with that. I'm going to have a planner, a yearly planner that's coming up. A girl has been working on a coloring book. And sometime near the end of August, you are going to um, be able to purchase both in paperback and hardback cover my book called Grace. It's a devotional and journal. So keep your eyes open for those things. And until next time, you have been listening and now watching the podcast, She Who Believes. And I'm your host, Vivian Bell. And I am indeed She Who Believes. God bless you. I'll see you here next time.